Google's new Do As I Can, Not As I Say project gives a glimpse into the future where a robot operating in a kitchen is capable of executing skills and tasks according to verbal commands like pick up the coffee cup or go to the sink or throw out the apple. A collaboration between robotics at Google and the Everyday Robots team at Alphabet called Do As I Can, Not As I Say seeks to condition an artificial intelligence language system to propose actions feasible and contextually appropriate for a robot given an arbitrary task. The robot acts as the language system's hands and eyes, while the system supplies high-level semantic knowledge about the task, the theory being that the language system encodes a wealth of knowledge useful to the robot. A system called SayCan selects which skill the robot should perform in response to a command, factoring in 1. the probability a given skill is useful, and 2. the possibility of successfully executing said skill. For example, in response to someone saying, I spilled my coke, can you bring me something to clean it up? SayCan can direct the robot to find a sponge, pick up the sponge, and bring it to the person who asked for it. SACAN is limited by robotics hardware on more than one occasion. The research team observed the robot that they chose to conduct experiments accidentally dropping objects. Still, Google DeepMind's work illustrates contextual understanding. How it works is that large language models can encode a wealth of semantic knowledge about the world. Such knowledge could in principle be extremely useful to robots aiming to act upon high-level, temporally extended instructions expressed in natural language. However, a significant weakness of language models is that they lack contextual grounding, which makes it difficult to leverage them for decision-making within a given real-world context. For example, asking a language model to describe how to clean a spill might result in a reasonable narrative, but it may not be applicable to a particular agent, such as a robot, that needs to perform this task in a particular environment. The researchers proposed to provide this grounding by means of pre-trained behaviors, which were used to condition the model to propose natural language actions that are both feasible and contextually appropriate. Researchers were able to show how low-level tasks were able to be combined with large language models so that the language model could provide high-level knowledge about the procedures for performing complex and temporally extended instructions, while value functions associated with these tasks provided the grounding necessary to connect this knowledge to a particular physical environment. They evaluated their methods on a number of real-world robotic tasks where they showed that this approach is capable of completing long-horizon, abstract, natural language instructions on a mobile manipulator. OpenAI's DALE2 AI image generator can now edit pictures according to text. Artificial intelligence research group OpenAI has created a new version of its text-to-image generation program. DALE2 features a higher resolution and lower latency version of the original system, which produces pictures depicting descriptions written by users. It also includes new capabilities, like editing an existing image. As with previous OpenAI work, the tool isn't being directly released to the public, but researchers can sign up online to preview the system, and OpenAI hopes to later make it available for use to third-party apps. The original DALE debuted in January of 2021. It was a limited but fascinating test of AI's ability to visually represent concepts, such as a giraffe made of turtle or an illustration of a radish walking a dog. At the time, OpenAI said it would continue to build on the system while examining potential dangers like bias in image generation or the production of misinformation. It's attempting to address those issues using technical safeguards and a new content policy while also reducing its computing load and pushing forward the basic capabilities of the model. One of the new DALE2 features, InPainting, applies DALE's text-to-image capabilities on a more granular level. Users can start with an existing picture, select an area, and tell the model to edit it. Users can block out a painting on a living room wall and replace it with a different picture, for instance, or add a vase of flowers on a coffee table. The model can fill in or remove objects while accounting for details like the directions of shadows in a room. Another feature, Variations, is sort of like an image search tool for pictures that don't exist. Users can upload a starting image and then create a range of variations similar to it. They can also blend two images, generating pictures that have elements of both. The generated images are 1024 by 1024 pixels and leap over the 256 by 256 pixels of the original model DALE-1. DALE-2 builds on CLIP, a computer vision system that OpenAI also announced last year. DALE-1 just took the GPT-3 approach from language and applied it to produce an image. They compress the images into a series of words, and the model learned to predict what comes next. But the word matching didn't necessarily capture the qualities humans found most important, and the predictive process limited the realism of the images. CLIP was designed to look at images and summarize their contents the way a human would, and OpenAI iterated on this process to create UnClip, an inverted version that starts with the description and works its way towards an image. DALE2 generates the image using a process called diffusion, which is described as starting with a bag of dots and then filling in a pattern with greater and greater detail. 
OpenAI has implemented some built-in safeguards, ideally limiting its ability to produce objectionable content. There's a watermark indicating the AI-generated nature of the work. As a preemptive anti-abuse feature, the model also can't generate any recognizable faces based on a name. dal 2 will be testable by vetted partners with some caveats. Users are banned from uploading or generating images that are not G-rated and could cause harm. They must also disclose the role of AI in generating the images, and they can't serve generated images to other people through an app or website. Microsoft and Hewlett Packard Enterprise are working with NASA scientists to develop an artificial intelligence system for inspecting astronauts' gloves. Space is an unforgiving environment and equipment failures can be catastrophic. Gloves are particularly prone to wear and tear as they're used for just about everything, including repairing and installing equipment. To create the glove analyzer, the project's team first started with images of new, undamaged gloves and those which featured wear and tear from spacewalks and terrestrial training. NASA engineers went through the images and tagged specific types of wear through Azure Cognitive Services Custom Vision. A cloud-based AI system was trained using the data and the results were comparable to NASA's own actual damage reports. The tool generates a probability score of damage to areas of each glove. In space, images would be taken of astronauts' gloves while they remove their equipment in the airlock. These images would then be analyzed locally using Spaceborne Computer 2 for signs of damage and, if any are detected, a message will be sent to Earth with areas highlighted for additional human review by NASA engineers. What was demonstrated was that they were able to perform AI and edge processing on the International Space Station and analyze gloves in real time. Because they're next to the astronaut when processing, they're able to run their tests faster than the images can be sent to the ground. The project serves as a great example of the power of artificial intelligence combined with edge computing in areas with as limited connectivity as space. Going forward, the project could extend to detecting early damage to other areas, like docking hatches, before they become a serious problem. Microsoft even envisions that a device like HoloLens 2 or a successor could be used to enable astronauts to visually scan for damage in real time. Bringing cloud computing power to the ultimate edge through projects like this allows researchers to think about and prepare for what they can safely do next, as they expect longer-range human space flights in the future. Artificial intelligence is an effective tool for fracture detection that has the potential to aid clinicians in busy emergency departments. Comparing the diagnostic performance in fracture detection between AI and clinicians, the researchers found no statistically significant differences between clinicians and AI performance, and AI sensitivity for detecting fractures was 91 to 92%. They found that AI performed with a high degree of accuracy comparable to the performance of a clinician. It could also be a helpful tool to serve as a second reader of sorts, providing clinicians with either reassurance that they have made the correct diagnosis or prompting them to take another look at the imaging before treating patients.